there were five reasons why you need to hire an experienced Baltimore City workers' compensation attorney. First, when you are involved in a workers' compensation claim, you have to notify your employer of basically you had an accident on the job. At that point, the employer then passes it on, and in, in many cases, passes it on to their own counsel. Oftentimes, that results in delay. Delay means you won't get the proper medical care because the employer has to approve it. You won't get paid certain benefits, especially the temporary total benefits, if it's not approved. Therefore, you need an attorney, an experienced workers' compensation attorney who can request a hearing. In many cases, if you haven't gotten temporary total benefits, you can request an emergency hearing. At the hearing, of course, you need an experienced workers' compensation attorney. They put on the evidence. They show the accident happened on the job. They show what you're entitled to with respect to medical treatment, number one. Number two, the insurance companies at the hearing and throughout the process have experienced lawyers. That's all these other lawyers do. They do workers' compensation. So they know how to look at medical records, and they know how to pull the medical records apart to show what the defects are. They also know how to look at the evidence to show that maybe there's something off that you might have said to your doctor, and therefore um, giving them evidence to deny the claim. Number three, you're paid, your attorney's paid solely from the award. So <clears throat> the award has to be approved by the Workers' Compensation Commission. It's not like an auto accident. So understand at the beginning that any fee that your lawyer gets is approved by a commissioner and it's done pursuant to basically to the fee schedule. Your attorney knows the benefits you're entitled to. You don't. Um, therefore, if you don't hire an attorney, you might miss some of the benefits. Benefits include temporary total while you're off, permanent disability, and you need to be, get, see a doctor and get rated for that, and of course, medical expenses.